Matt Rule and company continue their attack in the recruiting front in the state of Nebraska, adding yet another to their total, bringing it to 15 total players from the state of Nebraska in just two and a half cycles. Scott Frost comparatively had 10 in five complete cycles. Nebraska returned 77% of its total production from last season, 76% on offense, and 78% on defense. Now, Matt Rule brings a developmental culture to Nebraska, and one of the main ways to retain your roster is to ensure that you keep the guys in the state of Nebraska close to home. Those are guys that typically will remain with the program for the long term. Now, Matt Rule has added yet another one in Pierce Mooberry. Pierce Mooberry added to the 2025 class. He is a safety out of Omaha North, or sorry, Millard North, but will continue uh, his career as a linebacker, rover type of player in this 335 system. Now, first things first, my name is Justin Adams. If you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing. You know, even so much as a like helps me out. And if you drop a comment, let me know. I will be responding to all comments. And uh, yeah, just let me know what you think of this style of video. Now, what I'm going to be doing with Pierce Mooberry today is I got about eight plays from his film that I want to use to spotlight his strengths that I caught throughout his film. But first things first, I'll go over a little bit of an overview of Pierce Mooberry uh, just to give you an idea of what he brings to this team initially and just his, his attributes physically. Now, again, he's the 10th commit of the class in the 2025 class, uh, 6'4", 200 pounds, 87 rated three star. Now, he may be a little underrated there, and I'm going to show you why. He has a lot of physical tools, knows how to use them. Now, he played mainly safety at Millard North. Like I said, 68 tackles, three and a half TFLs, three pass breakups, and one interception. That stat line alone will tell you just how versatile he is. He also played tight end, was an exceptional blocker at tight end. He does the dirty work very well. He's a grinder. You can tell he's the type of guy that's going to come in and want to be able to work on all facets of his game as he is well-rounded already. Now, one of the things about 335, again, like I, like I mentioned before, the 335 is a variation where you basically take a defensive lineman, replace it with another defensive back. It helps keep with the speed and the versatility. Now, when you have a guy who has the coverage skills and ball skills of a guy who played safety in high school and you move him down to a linebacker position, in, in that rover spot, he is able to do a lot of things and he's able to make up for a lot of areas that Nebraska may have been lacking in the past in terms of coverage from the linebacker position considering the transition of the defense. The 335, a high-risk, high-reward defense, much more forgiving to the smaller guys. And uh, he's not small in terms of uh, height, just in weight, but he will bulk up under this staff and he will be a force and he will be used in a lot of different places. So... First things first, I'm just going to go over his, you know, his traits that I picked up on the film that I think he does really well. So ball skills and hands. I'm a, I've talked about ball skills a ton on this channel. Y'all know how much I love ball skills um, and being a tight end. You know, some of that shows up on his film with his hands and even on the defensive side. Now, he maintains tight coverage while the ball is behind the line of scrimmage. He really knows how to play the the ball in a 335 because he was in a variation of what looks like a 4-3 base on his film um which is very very similar in terms of the style they use for the 335 so um he maintains tight coverage while the ball is behind the line of scrimmage and then he'll back off a little bit when need be to make sure that he plays the ball well in the timing he has speed he has nose for the football plays downhill closing speed is is excellent you're going to see that on the first play attacks the ball there's no hitch in his get up. He gets downhill quickly, attacks the gaps when he sees it. You will watch that a lot on this film study, even just, just in eight plays. Hits with conviction, knows when to wrap up, play recognition, and he understands the offensive schematics being an offensive player as well. And like I said, he's a great blocker, which means he understands the fine tuned details in every facet of the game. Now, first things first on this play, okay? Lateral quickness is what's going to be shown here. Closing speed and play identification, basically his eyes. He keeps his eyes on the ball, not on the players, which means he's very good at picking up where the ball is, where the play's going. And as a single high safety, which he is a lot of times on this film, that is pertinent to ensure that you know what's going on. You're not going to get beat by a play action or, or something like that over the top. Another thing, too, to 335, it's very susceptible on the edges. So what you're going to see from this is how good he is at getting on the edges, even when they're running a bunch of motions and crosses in the backfield. And uh, the first play, again, let's go ahead and watch some of that lateral quickness and closing speed here. All right. 
24. He's right here. Now watch the motion in the backfield. Goes right, gets left. Smaller guy, able to track him down. Very rangy as a defender. And he's able to get over there, wrap up, and make the tackle, albeit when he was shaded a little bit to the right. So he's able to recover, get over, and to make that play. So his play identification, great closing speed and lateral quickness. Now the next play we're going to get into, this is a lot of his run stopping and gap fill, which is which is necessary in the 3-3-5 as these linebackers are going to be making up for that lack of defensive linemen by their stunts, and they're going to be trying to get in there and fill those gaps and stop these, stop these running backs um, at the line of scrimmage or as close to it as possible. Another thing is his pad level, physicality, and his leg drive. He drives through the tackle. Let it run here. Boom. Play identification gets up there in the mud and is able to come down and makes the tackle. Furthest player back in the defensive alignment still makes the tackle. We're going to see another variation of that here. The same kind of concept and the same strengths you'll see on this play. Direct snap, able to identify. Now, he was one of the last players on that edge there. He makes sure that he keeps the outside shoulder of that running back to make sure that he doesn't bounce it outside. That's another important thing. Again, susceptible on the edges so you want to see that now moving forward here i'm gonna i'm gonna bring it a little bit forward so i can show you this play all right so man coverage is is really good here he shows how he's able to get through the mud of the other defenders they're kind of trying to run a little bit of a variation of a trick you know they they have three receivers going different directions to maybe cause you know, some confusion and or maybe gets a defender caught up in that, maybe knock down another defender. But watch how patient he is in getting through this. No panic. He knows that he can stay deep enough and he knows how deep he can stay to still attack the ball. And really good timing here and attacks the ball. So we're going to bring it here. There he is up high, single high safety. His man's going to the outside, stays deep enough, gets there and is able to tackle him backwards behind the line of scrimmage. So there's a time to stay behind your defender. There's a time to jump in front of the defender, and we'll get into what that means here in the next couple of plays. i got about four more plays for you. All right, 134. We're going to get into that. 134, right here. Okay, so right here, what you're going to see, single high safety up top again. Now, this is going to show his ball skills. Now, one of the main things that you want to do is stay back, read the quarterback's eyes, and now check this out. So he's going to be running across in the backfield in a motion. Gets over, gets his eyes back around in time so he can play the receiver and knows when the ball's released, know when the ball's going to come in his timing. He's able to get his head back over around to the receiver and still time the defensive play perfectly. Now, one of the main things that I want to point out here is you want to make sure in a 3-3-5 that you've caught up to your man when you're in man coverage before you get your eyes around to the quarterback. So he gets in a position to where he knows he is going to be able to keep with this receiver, doesn't panic, gets his eyes around, makes a play on the ball. Just a great play, knocking it loose, getting his hands in there, just really making it tough on these guys. His physicality is really good, and he's not overly physical to where you're going to get a penalty but he is able to still get physical enough with these guys to be able to make the play. Now, uh, this uh, 248, again, this is another variation of his ball skills. Now, this one and the next play um, are going to show a little bit of both of those. All right, so this is him at tight end. And as you'll see here, at tight end, just a little bit of a... This is probably why they don't run him at tight end too much. There's a little bit of a, a, a refinement in his game that needs to be uh, refined on the tight end position in his route running. However, just look at him track this ball down, be able to get his hands on it, and make the catch through a tough, tough uh, defender that's really, really playing physical. There's a flag on the play, and he still is able to go up and get the ball. Okay, so on this next play, again, it's it's very much the same thing. You're going to see the ball skills here, his timing. He stays behind the guy, as long as he needs to, and he knows his timing, he knows how quickly he can close the distance, is able to come in, not get there too early, breaks this play up. I'll run that back one more time so you can see it. Eyes in the backfield, watches the quarterback, reads his man, able to get in there with good timing and make the play. Now we'll go ahead and get on to another play here where you're going to see his ball skills in display kind of where he is able to, on the defensive side, where he's able to do what I said earlier, where he's able to understand when to get in front of the defender and when to stay behind the defender. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and run it to this one. This is the last play, and this is one of my favorite plays of the film. So like I said, stays back, reads the quarterback eyes. He tacks the ball at its high point, which is what you really need to be able to do. 6'4", you know, rangy guy, long arms, utilize that to his advantage. He has the physical attributes to know how to use it. And uh, like I said, jumps because he can get both hands on his ball. Now watch him track this down. Keeps about a three-yard cushion on his man until he needs to break and run after the catchability, which you like to see here. He's able to fight through some tacklers there. He plays hard on every play, and he finishes the play. Now I want to run that one back again. This is probably my favorite play of this film review here. One more time. His man coming across, keeps his eye on him, closes the distance when he needs to, gets the ball to tie his point, takes the ball away from the defender before he even realizes that he's going to be able to jump the route. He doesn't get there too early, so that way the, uh, the offensive player can become a defender. So yeah. I really I love his film overall because he brings a lot of things that I don't think a lot of people realize and expect. You know, sometimes we see the 87 rated three star mixed in with some of these five stars visiting campus. And a, a lot of what Matt Rule looks for, again, is a lot of these physical attributes and athleticism. And he understands some of the stuff on film that he can work with. And when you have a guy, in him that has the football IQ, the instincts that are needed. He has the speed, the lateral quickness, um, the physicality. That's going to make Matt Rule's job a lot easier because then those are all things that they've been working on with a lot of these guys you know, in their development over the last uh, year and a half. And so you get a guy in that already has those. You don't need to build those up, and you could really focus on what skills he brings to the table in developing those skills that are already there and already present. And yeah, like I said, a lot of talent out of the state of Nebraska. It's it's really good that this staff has made that a focus. Again, somewhat of a lost art under previous staffs. And those are the guys that you're going to land at the most successful rate. Um, Pierce had, you know, visits set up to Minnesota, Kansas State, and he had an official to Nebraska in June 21st. And the staff was able to close the deal before he even got to the June 21st official visit. So if you like what, you know, this film study was kind of is a little bit different. Like I said, I broke it down in a few plays for you um, as opposed to just going through a full film study. Let me know which one you which ones y'all prefer, who you might want next. And uh, I got a couple of video ideas in the last comment that I'm going to be doing videos on. So keep those ideas coming and let me know what you want from me in the future. But other than that, I will see you in tomorrow's live stream at 6 p.m. Central and I'll see you there. Peace.